Hey guys, so this is going to be my non-fiction November uh, TBR. So the first book I have is Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking by Susan Cain. It's the copy I have. Um, I actually did start reading it. it. I got to page 49 and I stopped. It's about 270 pages. Uh, most of this is references in the back. So. I thought that this would be interesting because I'm pretty introverted and I wanted to see um, what someone's opinion on was it. Yeah. Okay, the next book I have is by Bill Bryson. It's a short history of nearly everything. I'm interested in this one because I want to see how scientific it is. I want to see how true it is. Um, like it goes, let's see if there's a table of contents, yeah. So it starts off with the universe and then the size of the earth. Talks about Einstein and the atom. Uh, dangerous planet, whatever that means. Uh, life itself, cells and Darwin and the restless ape things like that so that's what I'm gonna possibly pick up um, it's a bit of a chunker it's looks like it's over 500 pages nope those are notes 473 so it's a pretty big book and then the last book you might have already seen before it's jumping to C++ by Alex Elaine and I have been going through it about that far this is a programming language and I want to learn it. So I got to the part on pointers and then I stopped. <laughs> so I need to pick that up again. Um, so those are the only nonfiction books that I have on my shelf that I haven't read yet or finished reading. Um, I have read Hunger by Roxane Gay. That was one I read, I think at the beginning of the year. And it was really good, I really enjoyed it. But other than that, I don't really read nonfiction, and I'd like to read more. So if you have any suggestions for some nonfiction you think I might like, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see if my library has it. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great time, and I'll see you again soon.